kind of set the tone uh, for the team tonight? Um, yeah, I mean, definitely. I feel like the starting pitchers, you know, after my last start in Toronto, you know, everybody's been throwing the ball really well since then. And, um, you know, tonight everything clicked. You know, I, I was able to go out there, you know, it was a hot night, keep our guys, you know, off the field, get them in the dugout, swing the bats really well, you know, come out. We I think we scored three in the first and then two in the second. And from that point on, it was just, you know, stay focused, stay locked in, go out there and attack the zone. You know, you know how good this offense is. How much do you think a night like this will help guys just uh, relax a little bit and kind of uh, get back on track? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I mean, I felt like we played good baseball all the way, all around, um, you know, obviously, except for the ninth inning. But, um, you know, Ploiecki and I, we were on the same page early on. We were attacking the zone. We were using kind of all of my pitches. You know, my splitter felt really good early, you know, and we were hitting the ball all up and down the lineup, you know, it wasn't like we were just relying on the home runs either. You know, we were hitting singles, doubles, triples, and, you know, really scattering scattering the hits all around the ballpark. So it's nice that everybody was involved and, you know, it was a good win for us tonight. Nate, what's your feel for, like, the clubhouse right now and the confidence level, of how big this game was for you guys and, and just going forward, what it could mean for you? No, oh, it a, it's a great win for us. I mean, it was a big one for us. You know, uh, they're in first place right now. We're coming after them and, you know, tonight's a, you know, it was a big win for us. You know, we got to come out tomorrow, same mentality and go out there and attack and, uh, you know, do, do what we did tonight. <laughs> Nate, after that, that kind of rocky stretch you had, were there any particular adjustments you made coming into this one that you felt were effective? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I cleaned up my mechanics a little bit. I felt like I was getting a little long with my arm um, on, on my backside. So I was trying to shorten that up a lot. And, uh, you know, my two previous starts, I felt like I really couldn't command the top of the strike zone very well. I felt like my velocity was down a little bit. Um, tonight, I just really shortened up the, uh, the arm path. And, you know, I had a lot better command. My splitter felt really good tonight. Um, curveball felt really good. We we're mixing it up. Use the cutter there towards the end a lot more. And um, like I said, I mean, when we're attacking the zone, you know, good things happen. You know, when we're heading the counts, I mean, when we're battling from behind the entire time, the hitters, you know, they do, that's when they do most of their damage. So. After, after, you know, the way Eddie pitched yesterday and the way you pitched tonight, mm -hmm. AC was saying he feels like the rotation is kind of getting back on its feet a little bit. How important is that, you know, as you guys try to move forward now and, you know, get, you know, get out of this, what, what you've been going through? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I felt like it started after my bad start in Toronto. You know, uh, Pavetta came out through a really good game in that doubleheader. Hauk threw a great game as well. You know, and I think from then, you know, the momentum has been rolling uh, with the starters. So, I think tonight was a really good night, uh, you know, for me to go seven and just keep passing the ball down, you know, and the offense stayed on them the entire time. And, you know, like, as you saw, you know, in the ninth, you know, they don't give up. They continue to put pressure on us and, you know, we're going to do the same to them. Nate, personally, um, in the bigger picture for you this season, how, how good have you felt about your ability to make adjustments from outing to outing and, you know, how, how, how close is this to being kind of the pitcher you you wanted to be in your career? Yeah, um, you know, it's a game of small adjustments. Um, you know, it's it's pitch to pitch. It's inning to inning, game to game. You know, you got to stay on your craft. And you, there's always something that you can improve on. And, you know, these last two starts that I, or the two before this one, you know, they weren't they didn't go the way I liked it. So, um, you know, I knew there was a lot of things that I needed to focus on. And, you know, working with Bushy Walk and um, – and tech, you know, they they stay on us all the time of whether we're, you know, how we're sequencing our pitching, our pitches, you know, how we're attacking the hitters, you know, at times, you know, you make a good pitch and they hit it, you know, and sometimes you shut it off and you don't throw that pitch anymore throughout the, the game. And, you know, you got to really realize, you know, what pitch, what pitch you threw, what location, you know, and sometimes you just tip your hat, but you can keep attacking them. And, um, you know, I felt like that's what happened to me early on in the uh, in the Tampa game the last time I faced him, you know, I gave up that home run to Troy with the cutter and I kind of shied away from it the rest of the game, you know, and tonight I stayed on it, stayed on all my pitches and, you know, I had a good outcome. Nate, just having Chris back with you guys and knowing he's going to pitch on Saturday, what's that kind of done for, uh, for you guys to have him around? I mean, they're both, uh, him and Brazier both, they're itching, they're ready to get back, you know, they're bringing the energy and, you know, we're excited to have them, you know, they're going to be, they're two been, in very impactful players and you know having Sale come back it's been two years since he's been able to go out there and compete and you know the energy he's bringing everybody's picking his brain you know talking to him seeing what he's got uh you know I've been in the, I've been in his 
in his shoes, unfortunately, coming back from an injury. But, you know, you're fresh, you're ready to go, and you're ready to pick us up when we're all, you know, grinding at this point. So it's going to be great to have him come back Saturday. And, you know, I, honestly, I could care less if he gives up 10 or if he, you know, shuts out the entire – you know, goes shut out the entire game. You know, it's going to be great to have him out there. Anything else? Good. Thank you.